Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm going to show you how you can turn your Twitch bot into a smart AI machine. So if you go to my website, zamaxi.com, you can scroll down and see my featured products. More on the rest in another video, but if you click on tools, you can see the smart AI bot listed. You can also change the categories. Once you click on download free, it will take you to my coffee shop where you can either donate some money or just enter zero to download it for free. But donations are very greatly appreciated. You will then get a custom message about the AI platforms you need to know along with two files, one for StreamerBot version one and one for StreamerBot version 0.2.8. So let's start by using version one. If you click on the import button, you will see an import string. Just drag and drop the file into the import string window. If you can't drag and drop it or having issues, you can right click on the .mbt file, click on open with and then select notepad. You will see a whole bunch of text. You can copy it all by selecting control and A on your keyboard and then copy the text and paste it into the import string. You will see four actions and one command. Click on import and then click on yes and then click on OK when done. You will see the actions imported onto your actions list. Go into your commands and make sure you enable the bot personality command. Okay, now let's show you how you do this in 0.2.8. The import process is generally the same, but you will see one more action, which is for capturing the your bot name. Click on import and okay. Go into your commands and enable bot personality command. Now we have imported the tool. If you're using streaming bot version 0.2.8, then you will go, need to go into the if at bot name action and make sure you change the value to the name of your bot account. You need to have a bot account set up for this, which you can find in your platform and Twitch settings. My version of 0.2.8 doesn't have it as my main version is version one, which I'm going to focus on mostly since from here it's pretty much the same. On version one, the bot value is located in the response action. Make sure this is changed to the bot account name. My bot is called bot of maxi. So this is what I am going to use. So now we can go to the settings. You will see multiple arguments for either DeepSeek, Grok and OpenAI. This is where you need to enter your API keys from the platform of your choice. You also have the AI provider choice, which by default is set to Grok, but you can change it to whichever ones you prefer. I recommend Grok for smarter responses, OpenAI for faster responses and DeepSeek for more budget friendly responses. Before we get started, you will need one AI platform. So if you have a preference already, then you can skip to that platform. But if you want choices, then that is fine too. So let's create an API key for Grok. Go to console.x.ai. And before we create a key, we need to top up some credits in order to use the AI. Go to billing and purchase credits. I recommend $5, which will give you many uses of your smart AI bot. Once you have purchased the credits, go to the API keys tab and create API key. Give it a name and then click on save. Copy the API key and paste it into the Grok API value on Streambot. For DeepSeek, go to platform.deepseek.com and then click on top up. Select an amount from the options available, making sure you have a payment method and then go to API keys and repeat the similar process we did before. Copy the API key and paste it into the DeepSeek API value. OpenAI, it's a little different. Go to platform.openai.com and then make sure you have created a project first. Go to the projects and create a project. Give it a name such as streamer.bots and then once created, click on the gear icon on the top right next to your initials and then go to bill in and then add to credit balance, which will be a similar process to the previous platforms. Then go to API keys and create a new secret key. Give it a name and then create and copy the value and paste it into your OpenAI API value on StreamerBot. So now we are done and we can test. Just make sure your AI choice is correct. But before, let's set our bot's personality. You should have a bot personality in your global variables. If you don't, you can go to the personality action and then see the command for setting it. It should be exclamation mark bot personality. So type it in chat and let's go with helpful. Now we have a personality set. Let's ask our bot a question. Let's ask it what is the best game of all time? We have an answer in a matter of a few seconds. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that's a brilliant game. It's safe to say that this bot is very smart. 
Now we can change its personality to say, let's try the troll and ask it the same question. Well, it's certainly a troll, right? And we can verify that it is in our global variables. I have included a list of personalities in a TXT file when you download the product on Coffee, so feel free to try them all out. Now let's test with other AI providers and see what other responses we get. Notice that OpenAI is quite fast and DeepSeek is slightly slower. This is because of mainly the cost and performance differences. Since DeepSeek is super cheap, it only costs this much per 1 million tokens and each message to the bot and the response back is roughly 50 tokens. So you're not going to run out of top up credits anytime soon. You can see the cost of each platform, which I have linked in the description. The smart AI bot uses Grok-3-mini for Grok, DeepSeek-chat for DeepSeek and GPT 3.5 Turbo for OpenAI. Now for you more advanced people who like to live dangerously, if you wish to change the model of the AI platform you are using, you can go into the AI Connect C Sharp sub action and scroll down to where you can see the model options for that platform and change it to something else. I chose these options for better balance, but it is completely up to you. You can also see a list of the personalities here and how the prompts are executed to the AI. So if you want to adjust it to your liking, then that is completely up to you. You can also see that we have permissions. So we have permissions for mods, VIPs, subs, and followers. You can notice how the mods, VIPs, and subs are all set to true, and then the followers are set to false. So this means that only mods, VIPs, and subs can use the AI bot. However, the followers cannot, but you can change this to your liking. You can set this to true, and then this means that even followers can follow your channel. Let's talk troubleshooting. If you are encountering issues or your bot is not responding, just go into the C Sharp sub action and click on find references and then click on compile. And you should see that it says it was successful and click on save. If it isn't that, you might have either set the API key wrong or you forgot to change the bot name in your sub action argument value. On that note, let's ask the AI for an outro. GG gamers, hope you leveled up today. Smash that like, sub for more epic loot and I'll catch you in the next raid. Stay OP, peace out. Oh, and don't forget to follow my Twitch. I am streaming every Thursday and Sunday, currently doing a GTA San Andreas 100% completion. If you want to check that out, make sure you follow me on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv forward slash So yeah, on the next note, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.